Hi, my name is Rose Bear Don't Walk. I am Bitterroot Salish and Crow. Uh, I grew up in St. Ignatius, Montana on the Flathead Indian Reservation. So for my graduate degree, I went to the University of Montana. I received it in December of 2019. It was a Master's of Science in Environmental Studies, and I really focused on traditional foods and traditional food systems, specifically indigenous plants. So looked at the native flora of Montana and their uses by my tribe, the Salish. And so with that, I wanted to combine culture and science together so that I could just kind of bring a new perspective to this kind of this new world. I received the 500 Women Scientists Fellowship for the Future, and that fellowship is specifically for women of color in STEM backgrounds. And so with that fellowship, me and three other women of color are leading projects that focus on mitigating social inequality and social injustice in science fields and in our communities. It's a two-year program, so in the first year I wanted to have workshops uh, where the community would come in and we'd kind of figure out what plants are available, how we can process them, what we can learn from them, and then just kind of hold those monthly so we can follow that seasonal pattern. I actually uh, release a bi-weekly newsletter that's detailing all of the botanical and cultural information about plants that are in season at the current moment so that the community and natives and non-natives alike can really harness that knowledge and use it in their personal lives. And with this new project with Ethnobotany, I really want to showcase that science and culture and indigenous perspective can come together in a really positive way and actually help our communities further themselves to be healthier and well. And, and really the, the focal point of my work is to have healthy communities and health in terms of not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And I think interacting with traditional food plants and our language and our culture really brings about that health aspect in a, in a good way. So I received the postgraduate science scholarship through AIGC and it's just, it helped open my eyes to the idea that I could be a scientist. My whole life, I really didn't think that was in the cards for me, and AIGC believed in me and was able to provide me with the support and the community to be able to study what I wanted and also know that I had a place with, within the science world because our ancestors were practicing science before Western science was even created. And so that really helped me solidify my identity as a Salish woman, but also as a Salish um, scientist, which is kind of new and revolutionary for me. And it's really great to have indigenous peoples in all sorts of subjects. And so they really pushed me to move towards that subject. And now I love it. I can't imagine myself studying anything else. <laughs>